This is Casey Kasem in Hollywood. And, you know, sometimes a popular song will reach out and touch somebody's life like nothing else. And that's really what our long-distance dedications are all about. Here's one from a man in New Jersey. Listen to what he writes. Dear Casey, this is probably one of the most unusual long-distance dedications you'll ever receive. It's from me, Howard, to my father, Harry. I'm an only child, and having lost my mother while I was in high school, I became particularly close to my dad. One Saturday back in 1974, my father and I were riding in our car when we heard a deeply moving record on the radio by Harry Chapin, Cats in the Cradle. This record told the story of a father who never had time for his son while the boy was growing up, followed by the reverse situation of the same son grown up who never had time for his aging father. The song prompted a conversation between my father and me. My father explained how he could have maintained his own business and probably have become richer than by working for others, but that he wanted to give more time to my mother and me. My dad then told me, as he had many times, how proud he was of me and my educational achievements. I, too, Casey, was very grateful to my dad for all he had done for me and all the guidance and love he'd given me. But I'd never really told him so until that night. Well, two days later, my dad was killed in a freak industrial accident, leaving me alone and in a state of shock with only his hopes, his dreams, and my fond memories of him to sustain me. It's now more than five years later, and I've become a very successful CPA in a supervisory position with the largest national accounting firm. I'm sure that part of my achievement rests with the drive that my dad had instilled in me. So, to the soul of my father, wherever he may be, will you please play... Cats in the Cradle. Sincerely, Howard J. Tucker. Okay, Howard, here's your long distance dedication. A child arrived just the other day. He came to the world in the usual way, but there were planes to catch and bills to pay. He learned to walk while I was away, and he was talking for a new it. And as he grew, he'd say, I'm gonna be like you, Dad. You know, I'm gonna be like you. Four, 
That was Cats in the Cradle by Harry Chapin. A long-distance dedication from Howard, New Jersey, to the memory of his father.